Oh, my sister, was, well, my nephew was in hospital recently and uh, he, he was in the children's ward and I got to see him a few times. They seem pretty well in there, so. Yeah, I've been several times in NHS and dentists. Uh, they're all right, but they have to prove themselves to become better and better and better. Uh, I don't have any um, proper experience with the NHS in hospitals. I mainly just go to like the GPs, but still on the NHS. In Germany, we have to pay for it. If you're under 25, you don't have to pay for it if you're a student, but if you're over 25, you have to pay. It's about 80 euros per month. So it's a good thing that it's here for free and for everyone. Well, I'm registered with the NHS, my personal GP that's close to my residence. Um, my dad has worked for the NHS for like 30 years and um, he's an ODA, um, which he, he sets up the operating theatres for, for the surgery and stuff like that. So he's worked there for years. And, um, you know, they've, they've got meat targets and stuff like that, but he, he loves it, he thinks it's great. Uh, they've been very good. I um, guess I was at hospital last year and um, I went to Winchester Hospital and I found them really helpful and especially the doctor what I had there he was so good to me he was really kind and, and, he, and he knew what he was doing and um, he was um, he was a very caring doctor I've never seen that before in hospital. I do with friends uh, and people that have gone to hospital, yeah. So yeah, I have a few experiences with the NHS. I have some of my families who have been to a hospital. Uh, my grandfather who suffered from cancer and they have all been very good. So I think it's definitely something which is necessary in England to have it. I've had lots of experience. I've had experience, my family have had experience, my dad had cancer and my mum had heart problems and yeah, aunts and uncles. So we've had a lot of experience. Um, I've had experience with them, um, either pure luck or through their professional way they go about things. They sent me a letter, would I go for a stool test? I went for one. They found something, they sent me to the general within a week, 10 days. They did a little op. I was out in five days and I couldn't, I couldn't wish them better luck. You know, the NSA, I think they're brilliant. Uh, I did notice in the child's ward they did have like quite small rooms. There were some rooms that were quite small. Like you couldn't fit that many people in there. So yeah. And not especially for dentists, my dentist is alright, but for NHS and for my doctors, uh, sometimes I have to call them several times, I have to wait for them to make an appointment, and sometimes I'm in pain and they are saying, you're right, and uh, yeah, they start calling me, and then after one week or two weeks I have to go to see my doctor, and they are not too bad, because they are in rush, and, and they don't want to spend any penny, sometimes, to giving uh, patient uh, pills or other stuff. But I think that the issues coming from the uh, new government, they are cutting every single day. That's why we have got problem. The GPs are just, there's, there's too much going on, that they have too much to handle. So I don't think that you get the, you know, it's probably the same in the hospitals as well, I don't think you get the right treatment necessarily. The process of reg registering was really easy because like they were aware that a lot of students they come to a new city and they have to register so it was really quick and but I heard that like some friends they have to wait for a few hours to get to see the doctor because yeah it's a lot of stuff they have to regulate. Well, um, the only thing that is negative is that some of the GP you can't go without uh, booking an appointment and that, is some, that could be a problem sometimes because they don't know the situation so that's the only negative but after all, I think it's still good. Yeah. I've never had a problem with the NHS so I broke my collarbone about three years ago and I was in and out within a day it was good might, might be because my dad works there though you know but I've had no problem with it at all I think it's, it's a great 
and you know we're um, revered around the world, you know, for our NHS. You know, so I think it's good. No, they've been very good, and I'm glad we have got an NHS because um, I had not seen it abroad, and lots of people are uh, suffering because they don't get no help like we do, and that's the reason why I like it. H and that's why I like it and the These doctors are very good, they're really helpful, especially for the low payments they get at some point. So yeah, I was very happy with it. I feel that they don't care as much as they probably should do. Um, and that the caring element of, you know, the whole thing of what it's about has been lost. Um, and unprofessionalism, maybe it's not, not as professional as it could be or its staff. But they've been absolutely brilliant every time. They really have. Um, okay, if you go to A&E, there's a bit of a wait, but then they bring in emergency cases that are more important than yours, so you've got to expect the wait. But uh, no, no, no complaints at all. Um, okay, the food's not home cooking either, <laughs> but uh, you don't expect it to be, but no, I think they've been brilliant. The only thing, if I had to say something about it, is the food. <laughs> oh my goodness me. But besides that, all joking apart, they're doing a wonderful job. They really, really are. People don't understand. They really, really don't. They read the papers, they see the television. Go out to India. Go to other places and see how you get on there. This place is wonderful. You've got lovely doctors, you've got... And people, when people say, oh, they've got to wait three weeks to see a doctor, that's not true. You can see them whenever you want if you explain your problem. No, I've got no problems with the hospitals at all. And whatever I read in the papers, whatever I see on TV, I ignore it. They're wonderful. They really, really are. First things I would like to have hospital in easily because if we have got a problem, we have to go to Winchester or Southampton. I know it's a big issue, I mean, they have to spend a lot of money, but I wish one day we had a hospital in Eastley area, and also for NHS, I think they have to stop the cutting. Maybe, you know, the targets and, you know, the people at the top making decisions that are not beneficial to the Public. Yeah, um, actually, we go online. So people complain that doctors aren't always available, like 24/7. So if that's possible, that would be great. We need it because people who can't afford it. You know, it's a good idea. And if if it if ever lost, I would or cancelled. I, I don't know what would happen to people. If I would change something, well, I would maybe just change the government because they're not really helping out the NHS a lot. They want to change it and they want to make it private, which I'm totally against. So I think it's a very good system and it should stay the way it is. No, not from a patient's point of view. No, I don't think so. Um, they've all been very forthcoming with, you know, diagnosis and haven't sort of kept anything back. And referrals have been good. So I don't think people appreciate the NHS. I, were, I lived for 30 odd years in South Africa. There's no NHS there. And believe me, people here do not value what they've got. They really do not value it. Um, I wouldn't understand. All I know is they've looked after me and they're looking after me now. And I've got no, no hesitation to recommend anybody that's got to go into hospital, go. Mm -hmm.